Welcome to our Angular Insights video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question that many developers encounter. Our viewer asks, is the ng on init lifecycle hook a guarantee that your bindings are readily available, even when using the async pipe? Let's break this down. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. Let's explore the question about Angular's ng on init lifecycle hook and the async pipe. The ng on init hook is indeed a point where your component's bindings are expected to be available. However, when using the async pipe, things work a bit differently. The async pipe subscribes to an observable and returns the latest value it has emitted. This means that if you pass an observable to a component using the async pipe, the component will not wait for the observable to resolve before executing ng on init. As a result, if the observable takes time to emit a value, the component may render without the data initially, leading to potential loading states. In conclusion, while n on init guarantees bindings are available, this does not apply to observables passed through the async pipe. You may need to handle loading states in your component. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The question about using Angular's at input with async pipe and ng on in it has been addressed. It's important to note that Angular's change detection and lifecycle hooks operate independently from the resolution of observable values. For more detailed information, you can refer to the official Angular documentation, which explains when to set form model values and the role of ng on changes. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.